All right, hi there, everybody. What's up? Uh, welcome to 127 Reacts, where we react to trailers every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, my name is Jeff, and I'm joined by my fellow people, Yule, Dominic, Maximum Effort, and oh, gross. Alex. Fuck the Niners. Let's go. Oh, Taylor Swift's new album dropping soon. Yeah, it's a Super Bowl Sunday. He is. He's a T Swift fan, remember? Gonna, her first track is called Fuck the Niners. What's your favorite Bun album, Alex? Up, right off the bat. The cup. Probably, I want to say Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it is Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday, so uh, got that, Dead, Dead, Deadpool 3 trailer came out. Here it is. We're going to watch the trailer. We're going to give you our thoughts. We're going to... Um, yeah. Talk, talk, you know, give 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 a give a give a score. <laughs> We're gonna compile Jesus. those numbers <laughs> into a one. He talked about Goonan, and now he's sidetracked. He we're gonna was. we're gonna compile those scores into one studio score. That's gonna be what compile. we have to say about it. So stay tuned. Wow. Uh, you're not gonna want to miss it for sure. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna go into it. We're raw dog in this first reaction. <laughs> oh, we're raw. We're dogging. Just like that football player is in Taylor Swift tonight. Oh, oh my that's God. true. He won. Start, he just, start, <laughs> just start the trailer, please. A present play now. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Oh, my God. All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure. But I'm happy. Oh, his wife is gorgeous. Is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. Oh. Make a wish, buddy. Wait. Weren't all those people dead? Didn't she? No. He went back in time at the end of two. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. TVA? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> that was actually really good. Mr. Wilson. You appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here? Walk with me. You know, we're gonna get Owen Wilson in this. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. Oh, oh. I am Marvel Jesus. Oh, why does it say Batman? Is that a Fox Studios logo right there? Oh, yeah. It looks like it, yeah. Whoa, it was a pyro. Oh shit, it was. That's so cool, they brought him back. Oh. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on. You can't fucking do that. You like edging, right, Alejandro? Oh, my God. Everyone's into it. Ah. You ever done it for an hour? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Can I go first? Sure. I'm going to say it. I uh, had really low expectations for Deadpool 3. I think two kind of like really like uh, subdued my hype for this franchise like one was exactly what deadpool should have been two kind of just felt like yeah it was a movie it was a sequel it was kind of weak I, I think i really prefer the first experience more than anything i never saw the recut that they did for the pg-13 and then hearing that this was going to be involved with the mcu i was like how are they going to pull that off but hearing that ryan was still like really trying to keep it true to deadpool i'm like this feels like it's going to be a tug of war and i don't think 
it's gonna end that well for like the final product. But I am glad to say that like this first kind of teaser-ish trailer um, has really subverted all that where it's like, shit, they kind of found a really cool way to like tie this in, adding the TVA, keeping it really like that R hardcore comic book style violence. And it, it feels like it's kind of coming back to the, the soul that one had. Um, has me really excited. I will say though that I think them incorporating him in the MCU and the state that the MCU is in kind of gives me some apprehension. So for that, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna. I'm really gonna go lower than I expected to, but I'm gonna give this like a seven one five. Like I, I wanted to come out with like a nine or an eight, but I just, I, I really feel scared with them dragging Deadpool into this. And that's it. I am really excited for Hugh Jackman. I think a lot of people were upset because they're like, Logan was such a great send-off for the character and everything like this. But it's like, that's another universe. We all know that that was based off of, you know, like one of the more offshoot comics. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy to see Hugh Jackman back as, as Wolverine. And this time in the actual suit. Um, this might be the one time we get like true X-Men justice. So yeah, I'm going to stick at a 715. I, I really mm. do want to be excited, but I got to see some more before I'm like, oh, I'm hype. Is this coming out this year? July... 26. Oh, July 26th this year. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who's it next? Um, I'll go. Basically, like what you said, where as much as I love the first one, the second one, definitely kind of, I was like, okay, this is this is what Deadpool is. It's doing the same thing. It kind of felt like uh, Hangover 2, where like Hangover 1, like, wow, that was great. And then you go to Hangover 2, and it's like, it's great because it just literally copy pasted the first movie. But I don't really know how I feel about that. And then once that wears off, you're like, wow, I really did not like that. So that's how I kind of stand with number two. And then I've never really thought about the Deadpool movies since then. It just felt like that superhero side of things where everything goes and you can have the wacky shit that MCU wasn't giving you, right? And it's just like, like for instance, like, hey, why don't we put Wolf Wolverine in his suit as tacky or wacky, as corny as it's going to look like Deadpool's the movie franchise to go do all that shit, you know? Now that it's in like MCU terms, it kind of makes me kind of interested to see, you know, like what else, what other characters they will do that with. Just kind of opens up the door now to like anything can go the light version because this obviously now is Disney is a Disney product. Um, And even if this is rated R, like it's not ne it's never going to be the rated R would have been if it was still not if it was still on its under Fox, I believe it's probably like borderline R and then the others were probably RRR shout out the movie rr i thought i was gonna give this a higher score as well just because like wolverine's my favorite superhero just seeing his back and the colors of the suit i'm like oh my god yes but at the same time i think i'm just kind of i'm just kind of over the deadpool humor like it's just it's like uh, okay pegging okay what else are you gonna do fuck me you know grab my ears and fuck my butt <laughs> type of shit like how many times like okay i get it this is the same shit over and over again. So I don't know. I'm kind of I, I'm feeling like a 7.5 for sure. Mm -hmm. I like the first one. I don't really care for the second one. And I've never gone back to watch them because it's just like it's not it's not my humor, but it's cool in doses. Just grab my ears while you fuck my butt. <laughs> yeah, that just that <laughs> on repeat throughout a whole movie. <laughs> two hours of that you can't two do hours it. of that i'm like all right cool you know i think i've just kind of been i think i've like seen everything that ryan reynolds has done and it's just like come on man do something different please to be fair I, I think since the first deadpool it. came out like anything for the most part that ryan reynolds does is just like deadpool yeah yeah basically just assimilated into deadpool and it was cool when I when I first was introduced to it. It was cool, but then the second movie really just really really just killed my boner on this series. I'm That's just great. like, I would like some more creativity in this writing. Dominic, do you want to go next, or do you do you want me to go next? I don't know. Do you need some time to process? Or? No, I'm processing. Yeah, we're not glazing it. Fuck, we're not gonna oh. get good views. We're not gonna okay, get good views. Go ahead. Go we'll ahead. just wait till you get to the second half. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you guys. Oh no. I liked Deadpool <laughs> 1 a lot and I didn't care for Deadpool 2. I, I couldn't place my finger on what was wrong with it other than Matt Damon. That being said, I feel like yeah, it's definitely got the same junky humor, uh middle school humor which is fine, it's fun. However, I feel like 
it was very limited in what they could do because they tried to get some stuff. I remember in the first movie they had that like uh, Avengers helicopter thing and oh. Disney was like shitting out the ass about that. So now that they have access to all this stuff, I feel like they might do a little better. Given on the stuff I've read about it, I'm pretty sure this is going to be better than two. But like uh, you guys also said, it's Marvel. Marvel's kind of been in a weird, shitty place lately. So we'll see what happens. I'll give it like an 8.4. 8. I think four? that's uh, okay. yeah. I think that's a good number. An optimistic, positive number. <laughs> Did you hear that, viewer? Optimistic and positive. Optimistic and positive. We are hype. We're still DC haters, yeah. We're looking at it from a, a, a standpoint, not your own. Okay. Yes, to echo what everyone else has said, Deadpool 1 loved, because it was you could tell like it was a passion project with like the the demo footage leaking and then Fox being like, all right, fine, we'll, we'll make the Deadpool movie. And it was great. And then Deadpool two didn't have that like soul. <clears throat> it was very much just like trying to earn money. It was nice to like expand Deadpool's cast. But like, other than that, like, you know, not as good as the first one was, wasn't sure what they're going to do like, with like a third Deadpool film. And then because of like, Disney buying Fox, it was just like, is it ever going to happen? So it was nice to see that like, they bought it, and then that was when they teased that like Jackman was coming back as Wolverine, and it's been interesting to see that like not just Hugh Jackman, but like in the trailer we saw Pyro, so they're gonna be splicing in more of like the Fox mutants, which is cool, and then having him like interact with the TVA is also cool. But then it's like, is it now a thing where it's like you're gonna have to watch Loki after Deadpool, or can it just be its own standalone thing? Because they're sadly like. MCU movies are becoming more like, hey, you have to watch these like three or four things to watch this, which is not how it used to be when it's depressing. But I liked what I saw. It, you know, the begging potty humor is kind of like getting repetitive at this point. I wish it could be like in the comics or the video game where he's he has like two different voices in his head and like is interacting. I feel like that would maybe spice it up more like humor wise. Instead, it's just like him punching at like now Disney and Fox. I feel like there's only much of that humor the audience will appreciate or like understand. Like especially for like the casuals who like didn't watch like the first class saga and like the older saga. Nonetheless, I'm excited. I'll probably go watch it. Uh, you know, they've been teasing like Wolverine in his like original costume kind of forever, but it was more apparent in like the Wolverine when at the very end he has like the mask. So I'm very excited to see like his full costume debut. I will give this an 8.5. 8.5. 8. Okay. The eyes have it. Divided Do you think he gets a mask? Do you think he gets the, the cow? I know Wolverine? there's been like leaks where he's in the full suit, but like he still has like full face and the hair completely. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen like the full suit, but I just, I want to yeah. know if he gets like, I want to know if they want to go I there like, or, or if I that's feel the, like you look stupid. Oh, uh, take that off. And then he takes it off. I feel like we'll get one one shot of him like full cow, and then yeah, Wade will make a joke or something, and or it'll just disappear. Like, like wow, he looks off. like a gimp. He's in a gimp yeah. suit, and then he's like, <laughs> like and he takes and it then, off. Yeah, and he goes pee pee poo poo. I just shit my pants. <laughs> all right, are you all ready for the score? Yeah. Yes. Seven point eight nine is what Deadpool not three gets tonight. Well, you heard it here. Uh, so, like and subscribe, comment down below. What do you think of Deadpool 3? What do you think of our comments? Are we right? Are we wrong? Well, I hope we're wrong. I don't know. I really hope we're wrong. So, uh. That was great. And what do you think Taylor Swift's backshot airs? Oh, Jesus like? Christ. <laughs>